Okay, in this tutorial, we are going to look at how to make a live tooling holder to use on a turret lathe. Here we see the axial live tooler tool come in, start spinning the tool, and machining away a portion of the part. So, how do we do this? Okay, starting from a blank document, I'm going to come to, or browse my folder here, and load <clears throat> a tool holder that we want to use for simulation. So here we can see we have an axial tool holder and in Esprit we want the center of the tool axis to be aligned at the XY0 point which it does look like it's centered at the XY0 point but we want the W axis, the blue tool axis, to be pointed up toward the turret. So this is the face that is going to interface with the turret itself. So what I'm going to do is, inside of Esprit, we have a nice feature called Align Z. I'm going to go ahead and use that and see if it will just snap the holder to the correct orientation. And you can see here now that this holder is aligned about XY0. We can see the center point is indeed located at the center there. And our W tool axis is uh, aligned at the center and pointing upward into the turret, which is exactly what we want. So now what we want to do, now that we've physically located the solid where we want it in space, to interface with the turret, we want to select a position that when we create a tool, that tool will automatically appear where we want it to. And that's going to be at the center of this collet nut here. Now, this tool holder already has a collet nut on it. So all I really need to do is define a tool location and have a spinning axis defined. So we can do all of this inside of the Esprit interface. So looking at the UVW axis inside of Esprit, um, if you've watched any previous videos, you'll notice that the red U or X uh, axis is the axis that points toward the main spindle. So if we look at an image of these Alberti tools, uh, here we have the coolant nozzle that is located, uh, you can see, actually pointing away from on the, uh, on the subside of the holder. So what I might want to do here, um, just to kind of keep consistency here, is I'm going to go ahead and hit Control A and then come here to Copy and say Rotate and I'm going to move 90 degrees about my center z-axis. So now when this holder is mounted it's going to be sitting on the turret like this. So here we have it in the upper right position and if we go back to the image we'll see here that it's in the lower right. So if we want to duplicate exactly what the image looks like we can just continue that. We can control A, right click, copy, rotate about our z-axis and now it looks fairly consistent to the way that it would mount on the turret in the photo. So this may or may not be the case but I can still rotate this solid inside the Esprit interface when I'm simulating anyway. So I could position it in any position that I want but I'm gonna go ahead and leave this the way that it is. So now I want to create that that tool position. Now the UVW is already located at the center and is already oriented the way that I want. So I'm just going to use the translate command. And when I come down here, and you'll see that when I move my mouse close to the center of the uh, where the position is, virtual position of the center of that face, it highlights that I could digitize and it will translate my UVW to be at the center and oriented in the same orientation with the W pointing up into 
the holder, which is what I want. So now I just want to come here and say, let's create what we call a tool spindle axis, TSA, and I'll just underscore one. So TSA stands for tool spindle axis. And in Esprit, that is automatically going to create a tool position and a holder position at that location for me. So again, even though this uh, has a collet nut built into it, uh, it's gonna create a holder position for me. So what I'm gonna do here is just call this test, save it out, and now we can check it inside of a simulation. Okay, so now what we wanna do is test the holder that we just created. So um, this offset milling, this axial milling tool here, I'm not using so we're gonna go ahead and do an edit there. So let's go ahead, I believe it's this one, yes. So when I click on it, it snaps it to view and it highlights it so it confirms that that is the tool. I'm gonna to go ahead and just click and drag it to unmount it. And now on station eight, I'm gonna right click and say add an adaptive item. And I'm gonna go ahead and select the file, the test file that we just created and that's here. So uh, going back to, if I go minus 90, you'll see that the coolant hose will rotate. 180 degrees will put it at the front. So I do have complete control after I've created a model on the orientation and how it's going to interface to the, uh, to the turret itself. So now what I wanna do is go ahead and create a tool and I'm gonna right click and add a drill. So we're gonna go ahead and I'll just take the default there, <clears throat> which is gonna be a 204 drill, and that is appearing at the center of that flush with the collet nut face, which is exactly where I told it to be. So what we wanna do now is go ahead and program a quick uh, drilling operation. Okay, so we wanna go ahead and drill this whole right here. So the first thing that I want to do is highlight the feature and we're going to come to milling and we're going to come here to drilling. I'm going to come select the tool, give it a name, quarter 20. And speeds and feeds, not really worried about any of that stuff right now. Just gonna go ahead and say okay. And looking at my operations list, it adds the operation at the end. I'm gonna go ahead and suppress this guy because we're not gonna wanna see that. So looking at the machine view, I'll start with this link here. Starting the simulation, we'll see that my tool holder appears on the screen, the one that I just created. And as I step through the program, it indexes the part rapids down to the clearance plane, feeds into the hole, and retracts. 